I've done a lot more filing on the katana. Uh, I've got the be the the bevel line really nice on the sword now, and I've done I've done a fair bit of sanding to it as well, just to take any uh, scratches out. There are still scratches in it, but I'm going to take them out uh, when I do the final sanding after heat treating. So the next step now is to put it into the furnace and heat treat the steel. And what I'm going to do, so because I don't want a load of scale, forging scale on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a thin coat of this uh, Rutland fire cement on. It's good stuff that because it sticks to metal. So I've watered some down, I've got it in this tub. And I'm just going to give a very thin coat on the blade and it stops scale formation. This is a <coughs> pretty simple little job. That's the furnace cement there. Yeah, I've got a thin layer on it. I don't think, I thought they might get a hamon when I, uh, when I temper this steel or when I quench the steel but I don't think that's going to happen because I tried a couple of the scraps that have been cut off whilst I've been making it I did actually try tempering, the, uh, quenching them with clay to try and create some kind of hamon on the, on the steel on the sword but nothing came out of it there was nothing apparent so it does need quite a low manganese content steel to get a nice amount so I'm figuring there's a lot of manganese in this or there's more manganese than I need or that I'd want so I guess that's not going to happen then So, I've finished my heat treating oven and I fired it up. Uh, I, gave, I burnt it for about five minutes and it got up to 900 centigrade. That was that crack then was the oven fire uh, just cooling down. I think it's a bit of the steel bending. So yeah, I've only just done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that video on before I put this on. I just showed you roughly how I made the heat quench oven. So that's it. I've got to let that dry now. Then I'm going to put some more. I'm going to put some clay on the back on the spine because I'm going to try and get see if I can get them on. I know I won't, but I'm going to try anyway. So I'll hang that up there to dry because. It will be at least tomorrow before I can fire this uh, blade up. That that fire cement needs a day to dry. If you try and do it, uh, if you try and put it into the forge when it's wet or properly dried, it just bubbles up. The fire clay's dry, and what I've done is mix some uh, kaolin clay powder with uh, the fire cement and I'm just going to put that along the spine as I said before I don't think that this sword will produce a hormone because I think the steel is wrong but it doesn't stop me trying I'm just going to coat that with the kaolin and the fire cement And then I'll come back. I'm going to put some little lines along there 
and apparently it will break up the any tension in the blade or in the steel. this to dry now and as soon as it's set we're going into the forge so I've got the blade it's about up to temperature and I'm going to quench it in the oil now the blade back a bit so that's the next process so what I've done uh, I've just quickly sanded off that um, residue from the fire cement and I put the sword back in the oven and I've kind of clamped it which I'll show you when I take it out uh, I've, put a, I've clamped it against a piece of steel to take the slight bend out of it there wasn't much it was maybe five mil uh, quarter inch just over over the entire length just a very slight curvature so I'm gonna leave it in there for about 30 minutes or so 45 minutes and uh, I'll just see if it's taken that out which I think it will do as it tempers slowly back okay see you in a soon so it came out of the forge and as I said before there was a slight bow in the blade that way so I clamped it into this piece of angle iron and I put a couple of bolts there on the ends and I made that little metal bent that metal plate and it just held the blade in the opposite curve to what, to what it was bent at so it, it was bowed out this way slightly about as I said about five mil so I pulled it back past straight five mil the other way and I put that clamp on and I left it in the forge for probably about 15 minutes 20 minutes took it out looked at it it was dead straight again so then I just uh, I just took the I took the bolts out and I clamped the blade back onto the angle iron dead straight and left it in to continue tempering back a bit and, that, and that's it, it's done now. There is, there's an ever so slight curve, really, but you, you can't really see it unless you, you sort of sight it towards the sun or towards light in the sky. It's not so much, but it's virtually dead straight, really. And it's certainly straight enough. Um, so I'm, I'm really pleased with it. You can see on the blade, 
where the clay was now. And I don't think this is necessarily a hamon. I think this is more to do with oxidization of the steel where the where the thicker parts of the kaolin clay and fire cement were. I just think the steel's oxidized a little bit more in places where it just had the thin wash on, if you know what I mean. I mean, because I can, I can just feel that patination on there as you run your fingers down it. So I don't think it's 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 a hammer, and that will all come out when it's sanded back. So that's my process now to sand it back. And we'll uh, see how that goes. But I'm just really pleased that you know the damn thing didn't bend or crack because uh, there's a lot of work gone into it. And. I guess the only way you're ever going to learn how to do these things is to just do them and see what the pitfalls and to see what the problems are in doing them and I've learned quite a lot from making this so I'm going to look forward to making making my next one out of Damascus right sanding so I sanded it back to 1200 and lucky a lucky Mm -mm -mm. First time I've ever been able to kind of achieve that hamon. Hamon, I think it's a hamon anyway. I'm absolutely made up about that. It looks really nice. So I sanded it back to 1200 and then polished it with some 12,000 paper, and that's the net result. So I'm going to carry on and get the rest of the blade done see how it comes I'm done polishing This hormone effect, or whatever it is, is uh, it's a little bit apparent there. The camera can't maybe see it, but it's not as apparent there, but it is in the steel. Say, so I don't know if the camera can see that or not. But what the camera can't see is the colour. It's a beautiful colour, this steel. Maybe camera just sees it as a piece of shiny steel, but there's not. There's there's all kinds of colours in in the steel itself. Uh, really nice. So it needs an edge on it. Don't want to put that on yet. I really want to slice my fingers to pieces. Um, I've got. A, I'm going to make the handle next, and I've started on the little brass guard. And that little whatever that is there that they put on. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to make uh, an end cap out of some uh, buffalo horn. Uh, I look forward to seeing this finish now. I think what I'm going to do is also is I'm going to get some um, I'm going to get some steel that's that will create a nice hamon because I'd like to. It's something I'd like to do. I'd maybe make a Bowie knife, big Bowie out of it. Get some, I think, five fifty-one ninety or fifty-one ninety-five steel. I think I think it's C ninety-five in this country. Uh, I'll I'll do a bit of research. I'll look up and see what um, see what I can find. I'd love to get some W two steel, double water water quench number two, but it's just not available in this country. I believe it might be available in in as a round bar stock. But uh, I've not had much luck tracking it down yet. But I've been I've been looking for W2 for almost 12 months to make a samurai sword out of. 
like I said, I just can't find any, so we'll go with the nearest alternative. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this up now, and I'll crack on with this. <clears throat> I'll come back when I've got the handle finished, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.